Welcome back to the Month of Paradox with 97philosophy and card80s.org. Today we are going to be looking at the Liar Paradox still, but this time we're going to be looking at the Boolean version of the Liar Paradox. So, take the following statement. Either this statement is not true, or 2 plus 2 equals 4. Half of the disjunction might be meaningless, contradictory, whatever you want to call it, but the disjunction is still going to be true as the other half is true. Even if you said even at allure is true, or 2 plus 2 equals 4, it seems pretty clear that at allure is not true, but 2 plus 2 equals 4, so the disjunction as a whole is true. And in fact, the disjunction as a whole, most importantly, isn't meaningless. Just because the first half of the disjunction is not true or meaningless, that doesn't mean the second half is as well. Therefore, containing a meaningless disjunct does not imply that a disjunction is meaningless. Now take the following statement. Either this statement is not true, or 1 equals 2. So, we can just, through a simple proof, show it's not the case that 1 equals 2. We had a falsitical paradox on that earlier. Therefore, if the statement is true, then it's not true. Well, if it's not true, then it's in fact true. Both of those by disjunctive syllogism. Therefore, if the statement is true or not true, it is both true and not true. That's a paradox. So, it's important to note that this is in fact equivalent to, if this statement is true, then 1 equals 2, the implication. The interesting thing is this is similar to, very, very similar to, Curry's paradox, which I did a previous video on. You should check that out for more information. The question for you right now, though, is... The Boolean liar paradox, vertical, falsitical, or antinomious. Watch a new video every single day this month here at carnadies.org and stay skeptical, everybody.